I'm Ashley Forley of Ashley Horse Training. I'm a happy horse, happy life instructor and mentor. I'm here today with my horse Paris and we're gonna show you some ways that you can prepare your horse for the vet. Um, so you can see when she rubbed on me a little too hard, I just shoot her away there. Um, I don't mind rubbing on her, but I don't want her to be rude. So if she starts getting a little, to be a little too much, I just kind of put some energy there. So anyway, we're gonna show you some ways to help prepare your horse for the vet. Um, the first one I wanted to do is to prepare your horse for paste deworming. And this isn't something that your vet is necessarily going to do, but it is related to your horse's health. And a lot of horses don't like to be dewormed with a paste dewormer because it tastes horrible. So what I'm going to do is teach my horse that a lot of times the dewormer is going to taste great. It's not really dewormer. It's molasses. You could use applesauce. Um, and then occasionally when I need to put a paste in her mouth, it'll taste bad but she won't mind because I've prepared her with something that tastes really good. So I've never done this with her. We'll see what she thinks. I'm gonna make sure I can rub her with the tube. Because if you can't rub them with the tube, you shouldn't be trying to put it in their mouth. So I'm gonna put it here and then I'm gonna ask her to lower her head. There, when she lowers her head, I'll take it away. Because my idea of, of putting this in her mouth is, or my picture is not that her head is in the air. I want her head down there. Head down, good. So I'm gonna take it away when <laughs> she puts her head down. Now she can smell it, I think she's ready. So I'm gonna put it in the corner of her mouth and I'm gonna put that yummy molasses, whatever will come out <laughs> in her mouth. It's pretty thick. <laughs> good, oh, I'll do it again. Put it in the corner. There we go, give her some molasses. Good. Okay, so if you made a program out of that and did that like four to seven days, your horse would be looking at you coming out to the field with that syringe and you could probably do it when they're loose. Um, horses get really into it. And then occasionally it'll be the dewormer. So get your horse used to having syringes going in their mouth, make sure you can handle their mouth. Though I should have waited to handle her mouth, or I should have handled her mouth before I put the molasses in it. Now her mouth's all yucky and <laughs> sticky. Okay, so I'm going to chuck that over there. The next thing I want to do is prepare my horse for a needle. So I'm going to turn her to the side here so you can see. And um, she has had shots and she was fine with them, but I've never done this prep with her before. And this is the kind of thing I would do with a horse that was having trouble with the vet or a horse that hadn't seen the vet yet, a young horse, maybe a new horse and I didn't know what they were going to do. You want to prepare them for when they feel a pinch on their neck to actually relax and that will make the needle feel better. So I'm going to first start with my fingers and I'm going to have my hand ready on the halter that if she doesn't relax her neck when I pinch, so you can see she kind of braced, I'm going to ask her to put her head down and then I'm going to stop the pinching and just rub on her. All right, we're gonna come forward. She's thinking that there might be more molasses in store for her. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna rub her, I'm gonna grab some skin and pinch, and then I'm gonna ask her to put her head down and then release. And you can see she's definitely not bothered by the pinch, but she's not lowering her head when she feels the pinch either. There we go. So I'm having to manually ask her to put her head down. I know she's got the goal when I can pinch her and she puts her head down without me having to ask. And we're not at that point yet. Again, she's still thinking about the molasses. So I've got some downward pressure in the halter there. I'm gonna do it again. I'm giving her a chance now to lower her head without me putting it down, and she's not uh, to that point. I'm having to help her put her head down. Here I'm just deflecting her from chewing on me because she's thinking about the molasses and not about me pinching her neck. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. So I'm gonna hold the halter instead of the snap just because she's all mouthy about the, the molasses there. So pinch her neck, ask her to put her head down, the halter. And she's not really, uh, putting her head down. She's more just trying to reach my hand. So that's why I'm not releasing. And here I'm going to wait until she 
stop moving your feet. I can rattle the halter a little bit. You can say, stop moving. There, you can lower their head. We'll get back in position here. And you guys probably couldn't see that. So it's not enough for me that she just stands here when I pinch her neck. I want her to actually relax her muscles. Like that, that was good, but I did have to help her. Gonna do it again. That time I didn't have to pull her head. That was a good one. So that's where I could quit with that step. She's obviously fine with that, so I'm ready to move on to the needle. And I have the cap on the needle. You could have it just like this. Oops, take the cap off. You could take the needle off the syringe and just use the capped needle. I'm gonna use the whole syringe because some horses are fine with the needle but not the needle and the syringe. So it is capped. I'm not gonna actually poke her today, um, but you could simulate getting some blood, stick it in here. I'm gonna ask her to lower her head and then I take it away. You could also use a toothpick if you didn't have one of these. I like to use the real thing because again, some horses will get used to the prick or the um, pinch, but not the tool. Some horses see this and run. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it again. And this, you can see, is more bothersome to her than me pinching her neck. When I was pinching her neck, she wasn't super motivated to lower her head because she didn't care about it. And she's more interested in smelling me for more molasses. But this bothers her a little bit. So you're going to see a more dramatic uh, change when she learns if she puts her head down, that that goes away. And it's just a cat's needle. You know, I'm not actually poking her here, but she doesn't like that feeling. Good girl. There, she, it's not really about lowering her head. She was more trying to smell me for molasses again. That's why I didn't really. So I want her to think the answer is to lower her head because she's softening to that feel, not because she's trying to get molasses. So I'm still having to help her. She's still putting her head down. And I'm choosing the vein because I did the, ooh, that one was good. I didn't have to pull her head down. I'm choosing the vein because I already did the neck pinch, but you could certainly do the needle here too and teach your horse to lower their head. So whenever she puts her head down, I, I'm just gonna rattle the halter there when she's pulling on me. Whenever she puts her head down, I'm gonna take it away. my rope again. I just like to keep it in my elbow. That way if I need it, I've got it. I'm going to go back to the vein. Ooh, that was good. I'll do one more, but she feels like she's getting to the point. Yeah, I'm not even telling her to put her head down. She's like, I know the answer is to put my head down. So the last thing I wanted to show you was to handle their nose because some, like the strangles immunization needs to go in their nose and some other procedures. So I'm going to make sure that I can put my finger up in her nose, and then I'm gonna ask her to put her head down. There. So the same thing, I'm teaching my horse that the answer is to lower her head and relax. Huh. Good girl. So if you go to put your hands on your horse's nose and they have a hard time, just hold until they're quiet and then take your hand away. If you can get to this point, then you can put your thumb up there to kind of massage her nose there, and when she lowers her head, I take it away. So you can do the prepare them for pasty worming by using molasses. Should have done that last because you can see she's all about the molasses now. And then you can use your fingers to pinch and teach them to lower their head. You can use a toothpick or a capped needle to teach them when they feel a prick or some pressure to lower their head and relax, either using the vein or the muscle. And then also preparing them to have their uh, nose touch. So here I'm going to hold till she softens. There we go. There, good. And you could even do the mouth, like can you handle your horse's lips and prepare them for the dentist. So I hope that gives you some ideas. Think about what your goal is. The goal is for the horse to be relaxed and accepting and know that its job is to accept the needle or accept the tube up their nose or accept the uh, pasty wormer. So if you liked this video, please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment and I'll see you soon.